Hello kind people of YouTube. Cardano and their ADA token celebrated their first anniversary a couple days ago and I figured why not make a video just looking at their most recent major news and then add an article from someone taking a look at the first year and giving a bit of an outlook about the coin just as a bit of a review how have they done so far what are they doing right now what will be they be doing soon. Because Cardano, ADA, not a token I'm talking about all that much on the channel, but I know a lot of you are interested in it. So let's just get it started. Two pieces of news from the last couple of days and then an article looking at its first year. Let's begin. And of course the links for these articles will be in the description. First up from AMB Crypto, Cardano Ado's Yoroi Light Wallet makes it to the mainnet launch. Now of course... <coughs> Sorry, my, my throat is messing a bit with me today. The, the air here is terrible. Um, of course, not that many wallets out for Cardano for ADA yet because it's still a relatively fresh cryptocurrency, but they added to that list a few days ago. Recently, Charles Hoskinson, the co-founder of IOHK and creator of Cardano, wrote on Twitter that Emurgo's Yodoi has launched on the mainnet. In the month of August, Hoskinson and the team made the announcement about an upcoming light wallet for Cardano known as Yodoi. During the announcement, Hoskinson also stated that the wallet will have a small gap between its testnet and mainnet launch. Moreover, the wallet is an extension on Google Chrome and is a hard fork of IOH Keys Icarus. According to the official website, the Imorgo team claims that the wallet is secure, fast and simple. More so, the website has provided a roadmap for the project that says that your worry will have more languages, support for other browsers, hardware wallet integration, export transaction to Excel and native mobile apps for iOS and Android by the fourth quarter of 2018. For 2019, stake pool is just an advancement promised by the roadmap. However, Nostradamus, a Twitter user and a Cardano follower, pointed out an error in the process and commented, I stood up all night to witness Yodori wallet birth, 4.30 am, no extension, the Yodori wallet website is full of 404, for, try to refresh any page other than the homepage and you will see this 404. <coughs> hey Emogo IO, you are destroying the whole project image once again. Mikey Jr, another blockchain enthusiast and Cardano follower responded, I guess it's not fully launched, uh, launched yet, was supposed to be within 24 hours and it hasn't been 12 hours yet. Now that sounds relatively negative and it definitely does not reflect very well on, the, um, on their image. But you also have to keep in mind when a website goes online or rather when a new project gets launched. The website for it often deals with some server issues if there are more people coming to it than they anticipated. Um, it's very hard to gauge how much, um, how much um, server you need, how much um, bandwidth you need for a new website. And it is very much possible that they just miscalculated and that people were say, seeing 404s because way too many people were trying to access them at the same time. But that is just my, my outside looking in perspective here. I don't have the details. But aside from this small website hiccups, um, I just checked the website. It seems to be running perfectly fine right now. So just two days later, it seems to be fine now. Um, in general, though, this wallet seems like very good news for Cardano. And seeing their roadmap, how much they are planning to do in the next couple weeks and months is looking very exciting. And we've seen a move to wallets that are attached to browsers that are in extensions. And this is one of them where you get to keep your own private keys. They don't ever get your private keys. So you have full control over your private keys, over your Cardano tokens. So this is looking very positive and um, right now only for Chrome, but other browsers will follow. I think this is very good, a very good thing to announce after exactly one year. But they had one more announcement the other day and that is Cardano launches Rust project to entice third party developers. Cardano, the platform underpinning ADA, the ninth largest cryptocurrency by market cap, is opening its doors to third party developers through a new client written in systems programming language Rust. As a project matures and grows, you need to satisfy the demands of different clients, Charles Hoskinson, CEO at IOHK, the blockchain development company behind Cardano, told Bitcoin Magazine. IOHK made the announcement on October 1st, exactly one year after it launched Byron, the first version of Cardano's settlement layer, which was built in the functional programming language Haskell. While Haskell works well for mission-critical code, Rust shines in areas like mobile, where performance matters. Rust was created by Mozilla for Firefox as a replacement for C++. 
If you don't know what C++ is, that is one of the main programming languages that has been around for a relatively long time. It is being used in a lot of areas, but um, the last couple of years it has been replaced more and more by new, um, by new coding languages, often specialized ones for specific things. But this is the kind of one that, um, that people who are learning coding are often told to learn first, because it's also relatively easy to learn. Back to the article. It is worth noting that Cardano, a proof-of-stake blockchain, is currently centralized with all of its blocks being produced by IOHK, but the project hopes to change that in quarter 1 of 2019 when its Shelly release opens up staking pools to users. Shelly was originally slated for quarter 2 of 2018. At its core, Cardano's Rust project is a software development kit for the Cardano blockchain. It has several ingredients needed to interact with the blockchain, including data types like, uh, types like blocks, transactions and addresses, along with protocol functions to query blocks, send transactions and so on. The GitHub repository describes the project as a toolbox for Cardano functions intended for use by third parties. It also states that a future Rust implementation of a Cardano node is in progress. A command line interface wallet is the first project to come out of Cardano's Rust project. The wallet, still in alpha phase, acts as a toolbox for third-party developers. Here developers can pick and choose from a library of wallet and node functions. It also lets developers manage multiple wallets, including Cardano's Daedalus and Icarus wallets. The library is open source and the plan is for the community to eventually take over the project. This of course very much in line with the decentralized um, ideals behind a lot of blockchain technology and a lot of the crypto world. A diversity of clients is good software engineering. Huh? Ah, this, I don't think this is a sentence is correct. I'm just going to read it out anyway. A diversity of clients is good software engineering and a common practice in open source software because it makes it less likely the protocol will be tightly bound to one implementation. Okay, let's just ignore this nothing of a sentence. Ethereum, a project that Hoskinson participated in as co-founder and CEO in 2014, also offers a choice of clients, its main one being Go Ethereum, written in Google's Go programming language, and Parity, written in Rust. IOHK intends for Cardano Haskell to serve as a reference code for new clients, showcasing how the Cardano protocol ought to work. Hoskinson hinted that more Cardano node implementations may be on the horizon. It is really important to see clients written in imperative languages like JavaScript, Ruby, or Python, and really important to see them written in system languages like Rust and C++, he said. Eventually, IOHK sees Cardano going head-to-head -head with projects like EOS and Ethereum, but that won't happen until a third major third release. Once again, no, they really need to prove read these sentences. Third major release called um, Gogoin introduces a smart contract layer to the platform. Hoskinson said two smart contract testnets are already up and running, adding that IOHK is likely to use its Rust client for testing smart contracts. So this another piece of very good news that I'm almost certain they waited specifically um, to, <laughs> to release out onto the world on their first anniversary. This opens up their platform significantly for other people to develop on, and it seems to, it will make it a lot easier for people to code on top of, um, of their tokens, to use their blockchain, and to ultimately create dApps and anything else on top of their networks. And that will, of course, result in more use of the ADA token. It will give it use cases and it will ultimately push the value up as well. But now let's look at an article from Invest in Blockchain where um, David Olarinoye, I probably mispronounced that, I'm very sorry about that, just gives us a bit of a rundown of uh, what Cardano aims to do, what they've done in their first year, what they're planning to do soon, and he gives his own opinion at the end, and we'll see to which degree we agree or disagree with him here. But let's uh, just read this together as well. Cardano marked its first year anniversary of mainnet launch on September 29th. Yes, Cardano has been around for just one year. We could say that we are still in the very early days of cryptocurrency. It is important to look at the Cardano project in retrospect and consider what it has in store for the near future. The blockchain world has seen plenty of projects begin with bold claims that end up severely short of investors' hopes when the project eventually launches. Charles Hoskinson, former CEO of Ethereum, noticed this disappointing trend in the blockchain sphere and decided to do something about it. Hoskinson envisioned a cryptocurrency project built on actual research by domain experts through peer-to-peer -peer review and following an academic framework for development. Cardano is built on a vision to bring the benefits of the civilized world to communities where the existing banking system is too expensive to be implemented, where credit is hard to get, and where the lack of stable identity makes trust difficult. Uh, a bit worrying to, um, <laughs> to imply that 
only parts of the world are civilized, but I'm just going to let this slide for now. Cardano is a fully open source decentralized blockchain and cryptocurrency project that also includes a smart contract platform, which seeks to develop more advanced features than any protocol previously developed. Now, um, I have to admit here, as someone who has worked in research, in academia, in universities, the way they talk about their, um, their research focus, their, um, their academic framework, it sounds very much like marketing speak to me. And it's unclear to me how exactly it actually influences their development. Now, I know they have released some research papers and stuff, but um, what else are they doing? How are they applying um, scientific methods to crypto? Because ultimately, it's technology. Um, when developing technology, one could make the argument that you're always using scientific methods. I would like to find out what exactly they mean. Do they just mean that, um, that all their research is being peer-reviewed? Then... That is kind of useful, but any any company that is developing something will have a system that is similar to peer review. Not exactly the same because peer review um, generally refers to when you're publishing an article in, say, a journal. And um, it is being anonymously reviewed by other p experts in the field before it is published to see if there's any major issues or anything. Um, most major corporations, most um, tech companies have a similar system going on where um, it's not usually anonymous, but before any code, before any new idea is implemented, it gets shown to a bunch of experts who get to, um, to, who get to offer their insight. So I don't see in how far this is as different as they make it out to be, but it sure as hell sounds nice. Um, now, keep in mind here, I'm not saying they're not doing anything meaningful there, I'm just saying the way they're talking about it and the way it's being reported isn't quite clear it doesn't quite make it clear in which way this actually means anything. Back to the article. Cardano was designed to be the first protocol that will balance privacy and regulation. The platform is written in the Haskell programming language known for its strong security. The ADA cryptocurrency was the first application on the Cardano blockchain. It was designed to be the native currency of the Cardano platform. The total supply is 45 billion. The Daedalus wallet was designed with a, spe um, with a new specification-driven development uh, methodology making it highly secure to store the ADA cryptocurrency. The wallet will be further developed over time to add more cryptocurrencies and eventually become a universal crypto wallet. The project Icarus was announced on August 15th of 2018. Icarus is a fast and easy to use browser wallet enabling developers to create their own applications. Icarus is a lightweight wallet that exists as a Google Chrome extension. <coughs> a third wallet known as Yodoi was launched on the mainnet for Cardano on October 1st, as can be seen from the Charles Hoskinson tweet below. So this one we just talked about already. So now three major wallets, entirely different projects, two of them browser-based and only available in Google Chrome for now. For a one-year wallet, uh, for a one-year cryptocurrency, that is pretty decent, being on three wallets. Um, I'm pretty sure there are other multi-asset wallets that also support ADA, but don't quote me on that. I wouldn't know one off the top of my head. Um, full disclosure, I am invested in ADA, so um, anything negative you hear me say here, it's not because I don't believe in the product, uh, in the project. I'm invested in it. I believe the prices will go up. I just feel it's important to be um, to do your due diligence, to be fair, to look at the potential downsides, to be um, to be fair and honest about uh, potential criticisms. That doesn't mean I'm bashing the coin. Um, that just I just feel like most of the time. Um, Potential downsides are more worthy of being talked about and deserve more attention because they're more potentially um, troubling. But anyway, let's get back to the article. Cardano makes use of IELE for smart contract executions. The IELE virtual machine is developed with runtime verific verification and based on the K, K framework. Two testnets have been released thus far, the first being the KEVM EVM testnet and then the smart contract testnet for IELE virtual machine. Cardano demonstrates transparency by having their code get audited by an independent third party on a monthly basis. As a project that prides itself in the academic framework, Cardano has had 10 research papers accepted to conferences, 5 research papers under review, and 4 technical reports produced. Um, once again, this in general sounds impressive, but I have organized academic conferences before. You can get anything through. You can have anything accepted to a conference. So just the number here is not that meaningful. We should be paying attention to what the content of those was and how many of them really produced valuable research. Continuing on here. 
There are 31 cryptocurrency exchanges that currently list ADA. These include Binance, Bitrex, Upbit, um, Huobi, I think, and OKX. The ADA cryptocurrency also has US dollar pairs on exchanges such as Kraken and Exmo. The ADA cryptocurrency is currently ranked the ninth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. The market cap is currently about $2.1 uh, billion, with a circulating supply of approximately $26 billion. And then you can see the adoption in this chart um, looking pretty good. There was an initial hype here and it's slowly dying down, but it's still, it's still gaining um, significantly. The first use case for Cardano was announced in January of 2018. GRNet, the National Research and Education Network of Greece, partnered with IOHK to verify student diplomas on Cardano. In March of 2018, the first project to be launched on the Cardano platform was announced. The project name is Traxia, and it is a project that converts invoices to smart contracts that can be traded as short-term assets. The Cardano mainnet was launched on September 29th of 2017 on the back of a successful ICO that raised $62 million. A month after the mainnet launch, the Cardano roadmap was released and gets updated regularly. On November 25th of 2017, the Cardano Foundation launched the Cardano Forum, which, um, okay, all of this is just talking about how many social media followers they have and how many people go on their forum. This isn't really that important. Here, what's next for Cardano? There are a number of developments still ahead for Cardano from the project's vision and roadmap. Some areas of upcoming development include game theory and proof of stake, decentralization and staking, Ouroboros development, two new programming languages, Plutus and Marlow, smart contracts, sidechains, and a hardware wallet. And his conclusion here, now keep in mind, everything up till now were essentially was essentially listing facts. This conclusion is his opinion. Cardano is well off to a great start. The project is powered by IOHK and Emogo. The partnership between the three entities aims to present a globally recognized product in the academic and scientific world. Cardano is not just a second generation blockchain via smart contract functionality, but also third generation as it has the interoperability function to connect and interact with other blockchains. Cardano is scalable and can achieve faster tra transaction speeds with the upcoming sidechains. Cardano recorded over 70,000 transactions during its first year, and it will be expected to exceed that in the coming years. The journey of Cardano so far makes the future of blockchain technology exciting to look forward to. Now, I think I can more or less agree with him here. I think Cardano is an incredibly exciting project. I'm not sure how much of its promise it has lived up yet, uh, lived up to yet. Um, as we see here with the what's next theory, a lot of their core function functionality that is part of their appeal, like for instance, smart contracts, a lot of that isn't in the project yet, still needs to be developed, needs to be released. I think we have a lot of time to wait still until the project a product is actually complete. Another thing I'm slightly worried about is that so far, there haven't been all that many use cases for Cardano, at least not compared to some of the other top 10 tokens. Now, I'm not too worried about this because, um, like for instance, with um, launching the Rust compatibility um, just a couple days ago, that will give so many more developers access to developing on top of their blockchain that I feel like there will be a lot still coming. But as it stands right now, I don't think they have quite shown their use case yet. Doesn't mean that use case isn't coming. Um, they have failed a few, um, a, few, um, um, a few parts of their roadmap. Like we were talking about it in the first article, um, the Shelly network that um, decentralizes um, their token, their um, technology. That hasn't happened yet. That was pushed back from quarter two of 2018 to quarter one of 2019. Who knows if it will be, if it will be pushed back again. So there's, there's a few reasons to be slightly worried here. But in general, I think they have extremely promising technology and have mostly had a very good first year. Um, they're still valued at a very low price per token, and in my opinion, you can't really go wrong by um, by grabbing some and by holding on and by just waiting. Um, there's a lot of potential here if all the things they are promising will be put onto the uh, their technology. Um, who knows how long it will take, but once that is all on there, Cardano has the potential to be absolutely great. And... Um, I'm not sure if it will reach their potential, but for me personally, and keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just giving my personal opinion here. I am hopeful that there is greatness in store, and I think at the current price, why not? Why not grab some? 
Um, I will be following Cardano closely. I'll be, I will try to talk about it more often on this channel. Um, they don't have that much news coming out on, on an average day, but I'll still try to include them because I know a lot of you are interested in the ADA token and in their um, in the project. Anyway, that will be it for now. A look back at their first year and a bit of an outlook. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. I have a daily news update video that I release and then every now and then videos like this. Um, all these links that I have used in this video will be in the description, as well as ways to support the channel if you would like, an email address where you can email me your questions for use in a uh, question and answer video in the future, and um, my social media links if you want to follow and on Facebook or Twitter are also there. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon.